I get asked a lot, how do I get started with QLA? I'd love to acquire a business, but I just don't know how to get started. So if you're wondering about that, you are certainly not alone. I think the most important thing is just to begin. So how do you do that? Well, the biggest problem I see is that most people are held back by self-image. They don't believe they can acquire a business. They don't believe that they can achieve that kind of wealth. And uh, so that's the first place to start. I don't recommend a lot of books. I think four is uh, on my recommended reading list. But there's two that would help you a lot, I think. One is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Most people have heard about that. And they've certainly learned the lessons of success from that and how people came over, overcame adversity to achieve their, their dreams and their goals. The second one is not as well known. It's Release Your Breaks by Jim Newman. And he basically came up with the term comfort zone, how to get out of your comfort zone, why you think the way you do, and how to overcome the negative imprinting that's happened as a result of your life. So um, what do you do next? After you do that and you finally believe that you can actually accomplish this, you need to come up with a better idea. Most people, when they go through and they look at how to do this, realize that they can't do it alone. And that's really the beauty of QLA and what Dan created, Dan Pena, back in 1993 when I met him and uh, has been responsible for, at last count, about $775 billion of cumulative wealth since 1993. I've been a, a part of that wealth creation as well. And I know the process works. Whether it works for you, I can't guarantee that, but I certainly know the process works. And when you begin that, most people don't think too much about the industry, and I think that's a mistake. When you talk to people and you begin to assemble your board of directors or what Dan refers to as a dream team, and I refer to it as a dream team, uh, those people are usually high-performance people. They should be. And they're going to ask a couple of questions. One is, why are you passionate about this idea? And the reason that they ask that question is that while QLA is simple, it's not easy. And they want to gauge whether you're committed to this and whether you'll stick it out. The second one is, how are you different? How's your idea different? And they're gauging that because not too many people want to do the same thing everybody else does when they create something. So they're asking those two questions. A CEO that one of my mentees talked to asked another great question. And I think if you think about all these three, it will help you a lot. He said, I don't really care about the details of what you're going to do until you answer one question for me. And that is, why is your great idea going to make the world a better place to live? Why is an industry better? Why is a customer relationship better? Why is a patient, if you're in medicine, a you know, relationship better? And until you can articulate that, he said, I don't really care about the other things. So think about that. Sometimes that's not as difficult as it first appears. Uh, one of the examples I use is Amazon. We all know who Amazon is. They deliver with uh, Prime in a couple of days. In some places in the U.S., they deliver within two hours. And then in New Jersey, they've introduced a program where you place an order, a drone delivers it within 30 minutes. And most people, when they hear that, go, wow. And that's right, wow. So you didn't need to explain a ton of things about it. You just need to understand we deliver it to our customers within 30 minutes of their placing an order, and that's it, by drone. Uh, that's a game changer. People get that, and they'll be excited about being part of something that has that kind of transformative change to it. Now, first is somewhat hard. Better, different? Not so hard. You can look at industries, look what they're doing wrong, look what the reviews of industries are and what customers complain about, and come up with a solution for that. Uh, for instance, in medicine, wait times are a problem. You go for an appointment, you sit there for an extra hour or, or whatever it is, and if you can figure out a way, and there are ways you can do this, that you can eliminate that wait time or compensate someone if they're forced to wait, you've got basically a game changer in that. So um, how do you begin? There's a lot of free information, whether it's on my site, whether it's on Dan's site. There's many, many people that Dan and I have never met that have used QLA successfully. So you can certainly do that. You can pour through that information and extract 
the pieces that you need to get started. You can go to the Castle Seminar that Dan puts on uh, if he does any more. And I always say that's the gold standard. In January of 2020, Dan asked me if I would be Master of Ceremonies for a one-day seminar that he's giving in London. Um, that's a way that you could certainly do it. Uh, I offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring, but I'm filled with a wait list. And then I was asked, would I create a course that would outline QLA? And I said, I would do that with a couple of caveats. And uh, let me explain that. So I did create that course. It's nine videos. Doesn't take that long to go through, about two and a half hours. There's no hard luck story on how I came up the hard way. Uh, none of that. It's just, here's what to do. Here's how to do it. Here's the tools to do it. It's been pretty well received. I'm, I asked my marketing person, what should I charge? He said, oh, I don't know, make it, make it reasonable, $497. And I said, anything else? He said, yeah, if they want three payments, make three payments of $197. So I said, okay, I did that. Asked him, is there anything else? He said, yeah, give him a 30 day money back guarantee if it doesn't work for him. Just do that within 30 days. Anything else? No, that should be enough. I said, the only way I would do that, however, and I did all three of those things, is that if I speak with the person personally at the end of them going through the nine videos and spend an hour with them to make sure that they get started on the right foot. And usually I break that into two 30 minute calls to be sure. So I think that's a great way to start if you're looking for a way to get started. Um, and that's a pretty inexpensive way to get started as well. The reviews on that have been been good. If you listen on my website to podcast number 23, it's an interview with Sean. I never worked one-on-one -on -one with Sean. He bought my course. He ended up using that hour uh, Zoom call very well at the end, and it talks about how he went through this, how he used the course, how he put the pieces in place, and then ultimately how he acquired a business. Uh, it's a great story, lots of takeaways, so I'd encourage you to go to my website, BruceWhipple.com, go to the podcast and pull down podcast number 23. But the most important thing is to begin and believe that you can do this. And if you, if you do, the tools are there. Uh, and if you have a good idea and you put together the dream team and follow the steps, that's a big problem for a lot of people. They just want to go do a deal without a dream team, without the professionals, without the financial institutions in place which this process explains how to do that. When you don't have the, uh, the capital you think that that requires, you can end up being very successful if you follow the steps. But most people that get into trouble get into trouble because they don't follow the steps. They just fast forward to doing a deal, which is a mistake. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps explain how to get started. And for most people, again, QLA is simple, but simple isn't the same as easy, but the results speak for itself. So I hope that helps. I hope that uh, you begin if this is what you want to do and uh, wish you all the luck in the world and hopefully a process that works, you implement. And at some point, I'd like to uh, certainly have an opportunity to talk to you and understand the success you have or help you if that's what you're looking for.